And welcome back to Judgment. After a, uh, an uneventful night's, uh, rest, it's time we head over to Charles to go meet up with Hoshino. But since no one's here, I figure, why not? Let's go poke around everyone's desk. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't mess with anyone's computers. Ooh. Worst game. Why aren't we already playing Death Stranding instead? <laughs> Uh, because it came out in between Luigi's Mansion 3 and Pokemon Sword and Shield? Hmm? Fair enough, I guess. I, I shouldn't even, like, say anything. I don't even have a PS4 or a Switch. I'm, like, so <laughs> behind. I'm so behind the times. It's crazy. Yeah, seriously. I mean, I guess, to be fair, Death Stranding it will drop on PC next summer. Yeah. And, like, I'm not... I don't know. Not much of a console gamer these days. I wish I had like Excuse me. A partner I could play. And not like a partner online, no offense gas, but you know, <laughs> partner I could just like veg out on a couch and play games with. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's like my console experience that I need. Or that mm. I like grew up with, and it's like anything else like I can't do. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Better be. <laughs> Alright, well, this guy over here is, uh, in severe pain, so we're gonna get him some, I think he said it was Mugworth? If only there happened to be a doctor we knew. Nah, I guess we'll take on the case. <laughs> <laughs> eh, it's fine, he just, it's just around on the other side of the fence. No big deal. Of course. I feel like I should know the difference between a medical decoction and a concoction, but it's not coming to me. I feel like I should know that too. Unless mm. like it's a fake term, and it's like, ah, damn, it caught this both of us. All right, Google it is. Anyway, this this guy hails from some place called the Dragon's Palace. That's kind of cool, I guess. He he runs a pharmacy on the fourth floor of that. So, uh, this guy's kind of a doctor, too. Okay, decoction. The liquor resulting from concentrating the essence of a substance by heating or boiling. And is there, like, a offer to, to compare that to concoction? I'm going, I'm looking that up right now. Oh, a concoction is just a mixture of various ingredients ah. or elements. Oh. Ugh. Well, you can go to bed a little smarter now. Hooray! Hell yeah. High five. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, we're being accosted by the, the Kahin gang again. They just don't know how to leave us alone. <laughs> they don't know when to quit. Seriously. Must we? Well, I mean, you should know the drill by now, Yagami. Yeah. So this fight's a little different because it's uh, it's meant to introduce a new mechanic to us. But before we even get to that, we have to uh, flail around for a little bit. Let's finish this. Also, I really hate that I keep doing this by accident. I really don't like this EX move. I don't believe you. This is the weirdest cover story I've ever heard from somebody. I mean, I would enjoy it more if it didn't burn all of my my EX meter. <laughs> and, anyway. and didn't kill the guy. <laughs> right? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> we can't actually take out anybody because, uh, plot armor. 
So we can flail around all we want, but uh, it's not gonna go anywhere. Ooh. I did not realize the road was wet. <laughs> For some reason, I just figured that like outside the playground would have been off limits. <laughs> <laughs> like you nope, just that... can't leave. That's the beauty of the dragon engine. <laughs> it's like he's invincible. <laughs> sure. Buddy, I just decked one of you guys like halfway across the playground. Here, drink this. What is it? You're in. What is it? Tiger blood. <laughs> <laughs> but I already I can already drop fools like a tiger. <laughs> no, but this one will get you. Uh -huh. This one will get you high. <laughs> <laughs> and, ah. you, and you'll get on 60 minutes to talk about your <laughs> career. <laughs> okay, so now we have access to medicinal extracts. So we'll just go into the item menu and uh, take some of the Thunderstrike extract. The so, fact that I haven't seen you or don't recall seeing you use Hug Bomb really bugs me. I think Hug Bomb gives you SP actually. So I should be using it a lot. Anyway, this extract gives us the ability to, uh... What the fuck did I get this one? Just now. <laughs> That's the power uh, of Tiger Extract. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, clearly. Thunderstrike Extract. <laughs> Thunderstrike lets, uh, Crane Style break through guards. It's still inferior to Tiger Style just because, you know, you can't, uh... You can't stick grenades in people's pockets, but still, it's good for crowds. That, and seriously, have you ever ever heard of a crane, like, shoot under from its wings? No. Uh. I wish I could see that, though. That sounds awesome. Well, look, if it was a Canadian goose, we might have a different story here. <laughs> Crane's never going to be that crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Someday we'll see bad guys that we've just beaten up run away and they'll like trip over those bike bars. <laughs> like, ah, oh. <laughs> but then scramble to get away anyways. Yep. I wouldn't be surprised if one of the other games did that at some point. <laughs> I'm sure they do. I just can't remember of, like it happening. So, just, yeah, just remember, beware of the man with the blue eyes. <laughs> Okay, so now we can go to the uh, Dragon's Palace whenever we want. And we're gonna go right now so we can help this guy back home. I'm taking you there, old man, and you don't have a choice! Yeah, it's not like we don't have anything important to do right now, like meeting someone about uh, a colleague's uh, murder. Uh, it's such a sanitary kitchen. <laughs> and this is why they don't let you. Uh, yeah, just boil the this pack. soap in the box. <laughs> <laughs> huh? That's how I clean my fish. This weird stew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the mysterious ingredients like this box of ammunition. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, these extracts are made from some weird shit. <laughs> I can only imagine that he either uses the guitar to like dip, swirl or sing to the stew. <laughs> I think he sings to it. <laughs> I mean, it is acoustic. He could dip too. Um, you're right. Hmm. <laughs> Never hurts to try. Uh, <laughs> right. 
Previous people throughout history attempting quote unquote alchemy <laughs> would tell you otherwise. It's fine. We have the guy in front of us to oversee us. <laughs> I'm going to turn my intestines to gold with this one. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, so now we can make our own extracts. Uh, Excuse I believe we can do it wherever we want with the mysterious gourd, but I don't actually ever use this mechanic, so I could not tell you. This might be one of those things that I just explore for the sake of the LP, but... I feel like this, is, this would be a thing. Like, you know how there's the... I forget what, it, what, the, what it's called. When, like, you have a personal problem with, like, using an elixir, because, like, it's such a great item, but you might need it later, so you never end up using the elixir. There's that, too. Like, I am very, very bad about that kind of thing. I, I feel like the mysterious gourd, and I'm sure it's, like, elixir or whatever, but I, nobody cares. Anyways, I'm sure, like, for me, that would be the problem I'd have is that, like, I don't want to fool around with something that's not really going to help me anyways, because <laughs> I'll, I'll just, like, beat the shit out of my opponents regardless. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't think the game is really hard enough to warrant uh, using these extracts all the time. Mm. Like, honestly, we could I think you can kill us by with just like Tiger Drop and uh, Lux Fissure. Like maybe like against bosses, I could see that being an advantage, right? But yeah. otherwise, eh. anyway, while we're here, let's take a tour of the Dragon's Den. Uh, this is the casino. Oh, great. So we're going to have to give, like, our great idea to these stupid idiots sitting on the floor? No, They couldn't no. even afford seats this season. <laughs> okay, so you could play some uh, some games here. I believe these ones are Hanafuda-related games. We can also just... Uh, they, they play you with tags here instead of chips or whatever. And you can buy tags. And you can exchange tags for prizes. Really want that anime paint, but I don't have uh, any tags, and I don't really, I didn't, I, I didn't want to buy any. So, mm. or maybe I did. Chaos one. Nope, I stayed strong. I did not. Damn. Uh, did you though? <laughs> Maybe I fumbled a little bit with the controls, but I stayed I, strong. I bet there's at least like an hour of footage that was cut that we will never see. Shut up. <laughs> you can't prove anything. <laughs> Don't pay attention to the money in the menu screen. <laughs> Over here, they have a standard casino. You can play card games here. And you can even use the same chips from the other casino. Nice. I'm pretty sure it's even playing the same music from that one. You know, in case you, uh... You don't want to go to the fishing pond for some reason. <laughs> the atmosphere is worse, but... <laughs> at least, like, the conversation is not so goddamn snooty. All those high rollers. <laughs> Talking about how to effectively burn money in a less efficient way. Anyway, we're off to Charles now. Gonna beat my high score on Ghouls and Ghosts. Nice. Just remember to record it properly so you can send that off to Walter Day. <laughs> and don't forget to include a, like a thousand yen bill so it, it'll <laughs> automatically give you the world record. Way ahead of you. <laughs> I give him 2,000 yen. Forget about me next time, yeah? <laughs> Wish you'd fucking forget about me. Is there a reason your little gang needs to keep meeting up here? It annoys you, and I enjoy that. You to let us use your store, Higashi-san. I'm hoping Jet will be or Jet Black will be back there one day, and uh, we can all have a meal together. Kid, <laughs> it's okay, Higashi-san. I think we all know you're nicer than you let on. What the hell? Damn, and you're braver than what you. What uh, you know, can come back? You got the skills, <laughs> Mr. Blum. Just a third-degree black belt. 
huh? Not that I've ever had to use it. <laughs> well, I'll call this meeting to order. Sure, I'll do the honors. Damn, I'm missing my gavel. And then you have to go back to your office. <laughs> And then knowing you, you just go on like side quests for three days. The law office. I would. Steve Blum's like, God damn it, Yagami, get back here. Likely the mole was responsible. Hang on, I'm helping Sana your help to track him down. make curry. <laughs> I'll bring some back with me. I, it'll be delicious, I swear. I see, huh? Weird time for that to come up again. <laughs> again? It's come up before? We can talk about that later. What's important now is Shintani called them before he was killed. Hmm. Suspicious. Hmm. What's the connection between Shintani and the ADs DC? Well, I mean, I think you just said new drug that he was the last person to talk to him. Well, well, why was he the last, or they the last person he talked to? The ADDC's research into AD9 has now been published one of the world's leading scientific magazines, leading to the gathering of reporters from both Japan and abroad that we have here today. 89, or as more popularly called, Nine. Snow Nine. After director Kido from he published his paper on it. Sis, I knew this was Snatcher. Clinical trials on larger animals, but apparently every single mouse they've given it to has made a full recovery. Now with the the man giving the presentation here is Dr. Ryusuke Kido, a world leader in neurophysiology and the primary researcher on AD9. He's the one who showed me around the center when I was looking into Okubo's case. Guess he's been the director for a while now. From what I can tell, the Ministry of Health is increasing the ADDC's budget to hasten the development of AD9. That's They're even adding another ah, building to the center. Good idea. It's a okay. huge project. There's a lot weird going on with the ADDC, but we'll get into that uh, real soon. Why shouldn't Tani go and call them? It's a front for Umbrella. We're about to find out, and there's only one way to do that. Come on! Can't just take a man's phone. First off, I mean it's your desk phone, so I'm sure like it's not gonna work if I even gonna like, do go anywhere near the door. I suppose <laughs> that all depends on your acting skills, Detective Yagami. <laughs> I kind of want him to say that, but snootier. Right? ADDC, front desk speaking. Hi there, ma'am. This is... Inspector Pluzo. Well, who I am doesn't matter. Huh? <laughs> anyway, uh... I don't think it actually matters what you choose here. Yesterday, I was wondering if you could connect me with whoever he spoke to. I'm Why wouldn't you say I'm Shintani's assistant, and you know he's running on the he's running late on whatever. Passed away yesterday. Because I I thought that was the goofier option. Long to ask about him. I know, but I'm just saying like that wasn't even an option. It's you either pretend to be Shintani, nobody, or yourself. Yeah, basically. <laughs> no way this happens over the phone. It'll be faster to just head over there myself. I mean, maybe if you'd said something like... Not sure, but I know the director, remember? I don't know, I can't even, I can't even think of like a good Arnold line I want to copy. I'll come with you, yami <laughs> Okay, me and Agashi will go check out what's going on with the Matsugane family. Shouldn't be tough with Hamura out of the picture. Hey, I don't remember saying I was going to help you. By the way, Yagami-san... Whatever happened to that guy hey, from... Hey, remember who can wipe your high scores off all your machines. <laughs> all right, all right. It took me a long time to get my high score on Galaga, for God's sake. And there's since they gave him his death. <laughs> a lot of competition in this area. It's crazy. Have you ever gone to see him, Yagami-san? No. Why would I? Why do you ask, anyway? <laughs> I don't know. I was wondering what he was like. The case got tons of news coverage, you know. I was also wondering what you thought about the case. I mean, did you really think that he was innocent? This feels like a leading question. Probably. But then he walked and killed his girlfriend. You defended him for that too, yeah? Yeah. 
Yeah. Did you believe him then, too? He kept saying the same thing. How he could never have killed anyone. But... I didn't believe him, no. Fighting for him... That's how you know he's a killer, because... It's my stomach. Every real person would have said, well, for the right price. Hmm... <laughs> <laughs> Death penalty? That's enough of the question, Sugiura. Well, the answer is no. The death penalty is a was that poor so practice that should never be implemented. Nah. If you say so. Amen. Um, Yagami-san? You're heading to the ADDC now, yes? Did you I'm hear me taxi for us. over the phone? I'll wait for you over on Park Boulevard. I know this is the game's way of railroading you into the story, but I just <laughs> thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, we should go after him, but first... The ADDC, huh? This has got to be fate or something. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm not one of your little buddies. Remember that. Okay there, buddy. Anyways, I'm off to the American Dance Dance con uh, Convention. <laughs> All things Dance Dance Revolution. Hell yeah! Can't wait for somebody to say Hong Kong Dance Dance Revolution of our time. 